Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tested to Enlightenment podcast with Glenn Radcliffe. Today we're on episode three, yay, of Perception. And um, if you guys have not checked out our past episodes and pilot, you're going to want to check out the Tested and Raw po- uh, pilots. And then you're going to also want to check out episode one, which is the voice in your head. And then episode two, it's a really great peek at veganism. And we got some really great feedback, Glenn, from the veganism one. So we're going to link your second uh, video on this in the comments. So you guys want to check this out. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, you're going to want to watch veganism on the Tested podcast series. You can go to testedthemovement.com and see all these videos right there. Um, which is a huge opportunity. And then you can get involved. You can help with donations. You can email Glenn Radcliffe at iCloud.com to get on the show or ask questions. So, and we really highly recommend that. So we're looking forward to hearing from you guys. And then Glenn, um, super excited about this great opportunity that you've had recently as you're an actor and you've gotten to experience with Diana Keaton and uh, Justin Bieber, you know, their tested experience um, in this film, Ghost that is got huge momentum around the world right now. Um, lots of views over, you know, a hundred million. So talk to us a little bit about that uh, and your experience. Well, thank you, uh, Ashley, I appreciate that. Well, it's actually a, a wonderful experience and it does coincide with my movie Tested because in the video uh, with the gifted Dan Keaton and gifted Justin Bieber, I'm actually the ghost. I I interact with them and they were someone of to work with and then I uh, I die. So they're actually tested, which I think is very important uh, because it doesn't matter who you are in this world. You can be on the street or you can be an Oscar winner or a great musician. You will be tested because your passage into the fifth dimension is not guaranteed with wealth or fame or fortune. That has really nothing to do with it. It's actually how you cope with the tested, uh, the test that actually will come your way and how you reframe that into a challenge rather than an ultimatum. So working with them, I, I thought it so much uh, synchronized with my movement and uh, my movie. You know, get to work with them and um, it's not something that everybody gets to do on a regular basis and you've gotten the opportunity to see their tested movements and everything and what has brought, you know, like you said, nobody is exempt from going through difficulties. So um, that's really awesome. And I'm glad that you got to experience that with them. So today's episode is about perception. And I think most of us think to ourselves, you know, we've got an idea of what perception is, but you know, what is it actually? So I'm really excited to hear um, your your ideas on perception. What does this actually mean and everything? So um, take it away, Glenn. Tell us all about it. Perception, well, uh, in a nutshell, it's how you see things, how you perceive reality. But the uh, unfortunate thing is people are not perceiving a reality. They're perceiving their reality. And that reality, it comes from stimulus to what's called the mammalian brain which is the prehistoric brain, which is the brain of survival. It short circuits the uh, frontal cortex, which is uh, the latest brain in development, which connects to the heart, which gives you uh, a sense of truth, linking the left and the right sides of the brain together, the logic and the creative. So we have to go back to uh, what caused this, because all wisdom lies in the causal plane. The the fact of erroneous perception and uh, fragmentation of unity is an effect caused by the uh, fragmentation of the soul, actually. If you study Carl Jung or uh, Enneagram personality types, you'll see there's a lot of variants. There's uh, givers like Mother Teresa, there's uh, artists like uh, Marlon Brando, uh, presidents like Ronald Reagan. Now, to the people perceiving that, they'll appear different because part of your evolutionary growth pattern is to experience outside perceptions, but the key is to realize they're not outside, they're you. 
enlightenment's not out there it's you you're just waking up what you merely know so perception is a unification of all these sub personalities personality types the myriad of concepts in the universe and so you see everything as one whole rather than subject and object and the reason we have fragmented uh, our, our perception is years and years of karmic retribution years and years of evolving uh, death and rebirth and coming back etc etc but you come to that quiet place within the stillness within your heart the knowingness that everyone is I am so if you can perceive everyone as I am then your perception is not fragmented uh, into pieces you don't judge people because you go oh well that's me why would I judge that person and then you begin to see the bigger picture, uh, the rainbow coalition. All races are really the same. We perceive them differently. All countries, there's no Japan or Australia or what have you, Scotland. That's a fragmentation. The human ego loves that because, hey, I'm experiencing this, I'm experiencing that. But that is a sinister trap that keeps you uh, bound to the planet Earth. Uh, rebirth after rebirth, you can't get out. Uh, I think it was Jesus when he said, uh, you know, get behind me, Satan, when he was saying, oh, I'll give you the whole world. You can do this, this, and this, of course. And, and he's giving you the whole world in three dimensions, which is a density, a, a dense reality, an illusionary reality. So who wants that? Well, most people do because they think if they become famous, they get money, they have this, they have that. They're validated. But unfortunately, they're going to go to dust <laughs> and come back again. They're not going to experience heavenly realms. They're going to experience the trap again. So all the pleasures and the desires and attachments, they have to be severed to have a very, very honest, clear perception of reality. And going back to the first episode, the voice in the head, that's one of the enemies of, of perception. Your eyes, your optic nerves uh, are seeing merely a peephole into reality, approximately 10%. And they're not really solid. They're like voids where stimulus goes through. And it's like three mirrors in the back of your brain. They agitate and tumble to create reality that you think is real uh, to keep you safe. And that's why everyone will see things differently, hear things differently. For example, if you're angry, you're going to see things different than when you're loving. It's the same thing. But even that emotion, which is energy in motion, emotion, changes your perception of reality so you must come from a synchronization from uh, the heart and the brain it must be aligned as one and when, when, once it's aligned you start to see uh, yourself and everyone else you start to see God and everyone uh, you you start to appreciate the flowers the trees the sky the sun realizing that uh, the microcosm is reflecting the macrocosm and it's a tapestry, a woven tapestry of love that God created. And you have to experience this, not through separation, but through unity. And through the unity principle of giving love to everything and everybody, your spiritual evolution grows, your, your vibration grows. And, and the way to get into the heavenly realms is to rarefy your being by loving everything, knowing that you are love, just becoming love. And perceptions, they fragment that love. Uh, and that's the problem that we're having. So what you have to do is start very simply and see yourself in everyone. Appreciate the trees, the flowers, the fact you have life. Come from a sense of gratitude, humbleness, and love. Uh, and your perception will gradually change because rather than coming from a fear-based reality, you come from a sense of love because you love yourself. Consequently, you'll love others and the perception will be clear. It will be like taking off glasses and looking out life with a magnifying glass and seeing pristine clarity in everything. Everything will be translucently clear, gem-like lucidity, where everything will be available to you because you're not perceiving it as, uh, as something to be scared of. Even something to love uh, in the form of desire 
or lust, that's another trap. So all, all these things have to be purified where you come from love, you see everything from love, and you connect to that stillness within and simply say, I am. See things around you and say, oh, they are, I am. So everything becomes unified, your perception becomes clear, and you're radiating a sense of love and truth. And that's really how to uh, solve this riddle of erroneous perception, Ashley. You know, you're sharing your, your, you know, the behinds, you know, knowing, understanding love and how that will increase, create a better understanding for perception, you know, because if you have the love and understanding for somebody, you're going to have a better, you know, perception and also you're going to gain a better perception. So that's, you know, a really great advice because I think a lot of people just, you know, they don't care to a gain perception in anybody else. Right. You know, so. Um, I really appreciate, you know, you sharing that. And I think a lot of people need to hear, hear that. So our next episode guys, you know, is going to be duality and Glenn, I don't know if you want to give us a little sneak peek like you did, um, for perception, but, um, we're going to be going into that for our next episode. So you guys want to definitely stay tuned. We also have a really cool movie and film that's coming out that's sharing everything that Glenn is teaching. And it's just a really huge opportunity, guys, um, that you'd want to get involved with. It could be in any way. It could be a dollar. Um, it can actually go a long ways. A dollar can go a long ways. So I definitely want to help out. And I think you guys should definitely help out as well. Um, go to testedthemovement.com or testedthemovie.com. Um, and you can also reach out and email uh, Glenn at uh, glennradcliffe.icloud.com. Uh, or um, PayPal too, which is, there's a link on his at, at what, websites. So you guys will definitely want to check that out and um, see if you can help out. Like I said, anything can, can help. Um, a dollar can go a long ways to help push this movement for peace and love. And, you know, it's just something that the world really needs right now. Uh, we're all struggling. We all can feel it. And I think it's really important that we support each other, even if it's through a dollar. So, um, Glenn, any last things you'd like to say for today before we head out and give us a little sneak peek into the duality that's going to be coming up? Well, thank you so much for that, Ashley. Uh, yes, duality, for example, in order to perceive love, you look at ugliness or look at light or darkness or expansion or uh, contraction. This is all the opposites of the illusion of duality. But the eye must be single with light to marry them. But unfortunately, the way the planet and three dimensions and our sensorial equipment, it only allows us to see things in duality. So I will go more into that and how that actually entraps the human psyche, seeing things through duality. And I'll be glad to explain that. And I just want to say to everyone listening, God bless you. And, and please come from love. Know that you are special, and, and I'm sending you all my love and prayers. Thanks so much, Glenn. Yeah, guys, definitely go to the website, see if you check it out. They are all tax deductible, too, so that's an extra, you know, extra thing to think about. You guys take care. Have a great rest of your afternoon, and check with us later as we come back here next week with Duality. Take care, guys.